All right. So in the last video, we did what not to do when your husband comes home from recovery, from treatment, and how we try to run his program. Now, we, of course, did that because it was convenient that way, but it could be the roles reversed. And sure. this, the dynamic would be the same. Sure. Just wanted to do it. All right. So. Honey, I have your recovery plan here, and I've oh, mapped out all your meetings. Thank you so much, honey. I love you, and, and I'm, I'm so glad that you're taking an interest in my recovery and, and transformation. And I want you to know that I am on top of this. I have this here, and I will share it with you now. These are the meetings I'm going to go to. And if I don't make it to these meetings or if I'm struggling to make it, I will call my sponsor and I will take care of this. If I don't make meeting or two in a row, I give you full permission to give me that tap on the shoulder and ask me if everything's okay and, and where I'm at. But in regards to my meetings and the work that I'm doing in my recovery, I am, I, I am on it and I've got this. Okay, so what happens if you don't do it? If I don't do it, this is this serious, the way I'm feeling right now? Because I feel like if I'm not in control of it, then you won't, it won't go how I need it to go. And then I'll be stressed out worrying all the time. Like, how am I supposed to know if you're not following your plan? Or how am I supposed to know what to do? If well, you I'm don't, telling don't you don't where, where, what time my meetings are. If I mean, of course, if I'm not going to be home, you need to know where I'm going to be. Yeah. And these are the times I'm going to be at my meetings. These are the times I'm going to the gym. These are the times that I'm... Well, that makes me feel better. Yeah. But what do I do if you don't do this? If I don't... Well, if I don't go to the gym, I'll just get fat. But please, that's a relapse if I don't, because that's part of my plan. So if I don't go to the gym, if I don't go to meetings, more importantly, if, if I don't make it to, obviously, if I don't make it to one meeting, this is a problem. I want you to be rest assured that the next day I will go to two and get up there. And if I don't attend two meetings in a row, um, well, you could certainly make me sleep on the couch. I don't know if that's enough. Well, for I, I feel like I want to feel safe in this house mm -hmm. and I want to feel like I have a plan B. So in case, I know you're not planning on relapsing, no. but I want to feel safe to know I don't have to control your recovery. I have no control over your recovery, mm -hmm. but I need to, I'll feel safer if I have a plan B. Well, what happens if you don't do this? So I would say I don't want to put our family at risk anymore. So if you stop doing all the things you need to do, and after a week goes by of you not doing what you need mm -hmm. to do, that we're going to go to plan B, which I think should be a halfway house. I don't care where you go, but I don't think it should be here. If you're not following that, it's like okay, a matter so of time before you relapse. If that were to happen, and of course, I'm saying right now it's not, and my, my focus is, is to make sure it never does happen. If it were to happen, week goes by, yes, I'll go to a halfway how long would you feel safe that I will have proven that I am back on track, that I can come home? Well, at least a month there, I would say. You okay. have to pay for it month at a time anyway. No, some of them go by the week. Well, I'm going to go by the month. <laughs> so I would feel better. Okay, that's fair. So if I miss a week of meetings and all of that, I will do... Uh, I will go to halfway and work that program and get back on track. So that makes me feel good. Now I can relax a little bit. I mean, not that I ever relax, but I'll relax more. Okay. Okay. So there's an example of what to do or maybe how to have kind of a conversation around it. I think the really important thing to notice here is A, um, you need a plan B. A, plan B. And ideally, see what I did yeah, there? Yeah, so it was boom. Yeah. Is have that conversation before notice that this wasn't an ultimatum it's not that i've now relapsed and said that's it now you're out when i'm in a healthy place i can own whatever the terms are and it also gives me more leverage to kill the monster while it's little if i were to start falling off we've already had this conversation so a meeting or two goes if i miss it she can then say you know our agreement was right and feel good about it because i'm not you know, we've already decided. That, right. So. It's not a surprise. I'm not being, I'm not being, uh, what's the word? Blindsided. Blindsided. Yes. I don't know why I sang it. Because you it's have weird. a nice voice. It's so weird. <laughs> okay. So that's an example of how you could do it. All and right. We're going to give other examples of how to do it and not do it because that's what we do. Because we can't. Okay. So we'll see you in another video. All right. Love you. Bye.